here's a definition for mode. So the mode of a data set is the value that occurs the most often in the data set. Um, and there's one thing you have to be aware of here, which is that there can be one mode, there can be more than one mode, or there can be no mode. So again, it's the value that occurs the most often in a data set. I remember when I first learned what mode was, maybe it was in middle school and my teacher used to say, the mode is the value you see the most often. So it was that M-O-M-O, -M -O, like mode is the value that occurs the most often. Um, good, so let's try an example. So we've got a data set here. Um, 5, 12, 16, 32, 157, 5, 32, 5. Now, you may right away recognize that the mode is 5 because I see 5 three times. I do see 32 twice, but I don't see it a third time. And then everything else only occurs, one, every other value only occurs once. But sometimes, just like when you do median and you kind of line them up um, in order from least to greatest, sometimes it makes sense to do that as well because then you make sure that you didn't kind of miss one from somewhere else. So let's line them up. So we've got a 5, we've got another 5. And we've got a third five, then we've got a 12, then we've got a 16, then we've got a 32, and another 32, and a 57, and 100. Okay, so clearly we see we have three fives, two 32s, so the mode in this case is going to be five. Now, let me ask you a question. What if I were to add another value to this data set and that other value I squeezed right in here and it was 32, okay? Then what would the mode be? The mode would be five and 32, okay? There would be more than one mode, okay? Because we see both five and 32 the same amount of times and that's three times and everything else we only see once, okay? And then the other, um, thing that could happen could be what if I erased this five, this five, this 32, and this 32, and instead my data set was 5, 12, 16, 32, 57, 100. Well, in this case, there would be no mode, okay? Perfect.